Hi, I'm Ben Zeiser, head tennis professional here at the USTA National Campus, and today we're going to talk about some familiar concepts to help you build a successful and reliable forehand. All right, let's get started. How do I prepare for the ball? So I've got a ball coming at me. It's important for me to get to the side of the tennis ball as I receive it. It's really common for players to get a little crunched up, a little bit too close to that ball, and let it come right at them. Another point is making sure that I I'm receiving that ball and I'm catching that ball closer to the second bounce rather than the first bounce. The ball comes in, bounces, and I'm going to want to get myself ready closer to the second bounce and the ball will be moving much slower. Another thing to consider is how much of your swing is happening after the bounce. It's common for players to let the ball bounce and then rush through the entire thing after the bounce. As opposed to having half of your swing ready before the ball bounces so you're nice and calm hitting the tennis ball. So I'm ready to send the ball. I want to prepare for the ball as if I were throwing a heavy object. And I wouldn't have to teach you how to throw a heavy object. You'd pick it up, and as you threw it, it'd be entirely about your legs and your body sending that, it'd be much less about my arms. And I want to do the same thing when I'm hitting a forehand or when I'm sending a tennis ball. I'm going to prepare, and my body is going to be sending the racket towards the ball. So how do we hold the tennis racket? There are lots of confusing names for grips in tennis, but let's not worry about it. The simple thing is, I just want my hand and my body to be behind the racket. And an easy way of finding a grip that is a good place to start is simply to put your racket on the ground and pick it up. And that'll leave your hand behind the racket. Just keep it simple. Picture I'm pushing over a bookcase. I'm going to have my body behind it, and my hands out in front. The same thing's true for tennis. I want to be making contact out in front. That way I can control the tennis ball. I'll be very leveraged in doing so. When contact sneaks back, it becomes much harder to influence the ball. Ideally, I'm making contact somewhere around my waist. When I make contact really high or really low, it's much harder to hit a successful shot. So how big or how hard do I swing? Tennis is a game of errors. It's a game of attrition. I never want to underestimate my opponent's ability to screw up. So in turn, I'm going to want to go for 50, 60 percent of my capability and aim for safe targets that will give me the best chance for success. If I'm out there swinging too hard, I'll probably commit an error. So picture trying to push over a soda machine. I could try to do it in one big shove, that'd be really hard. Or I could rock it a couple of times and the darn thing would fall right over. The same is true in tennis. I could try to hit a winner on one shot or I can hit a couple of safer balls and I'm probably going to be better off for it. My patience will be rewarded. Let's talk follow through. Simply put, the follow through is a byproduct of hitting the tennis ball. It's a good indicator of what happened at contact, but it doesn't actually help you hit a ball. It's happened after contact. A lot of players really try to control their finish. I want you to let go. I want you to do everything going up to the tennis ball and then just let it happen. It'll be a good indicator of what happened at contact. Let's talk targets, where to aim. Generally speaking, hitting the tennis ball cross court is a safer shot. Why? The court's longer. I could hit a tennis ball down the line and it land three feet out and it'd still be a foot and a half in cross court. My margins are bigger there. Players commonly miss the tennis ball in the net. I'm going to want to aim three, four feet over the net so I steer clear of it and get that ball to clear the net. Players miss the ball in the net much more than they miss long. So to recap, how do I prepare? I'm going to want the ball to the side of my body, catch the ball near the second bounce, and think throwing a heavy object. How do I hold the racket? I simply want to make sure that my hand is behind the racket, it's out in front of my body, and that'll allow me to do more with the ball. How big to hit? Is every interaction with a tennis ball an attempt to, to get out of the point, to exit the point, to hit a winner? Hopefully not. I want to just think to build for the next shot. I want to hit a safe ball and let it come back. And then hit another safe ball and rock that soda machine. Have fun on the courts and don't forget to subscribe to the USTA YouTube channel for more videos and instruction.